Good morning. Do you guys know what time it is? It's time for chapel. Oh man, we don't want to be late. Come on, let's go. such a beautiful day outside today that I thought we'd bring our devotional thought right outside today. Maybe you've been out playing today because the weather's so nice. It's always great to get out and play in God's wonderful creation. If you've watched our chapel videos the last few days, and I hope that you have, we've been talking about how as Christians we're different than everyone else in the world. How as Christians we're kind of like unicorns in a world full of hot dogs. We've also talked about how as Christians we're not worried as much about what we look like on the outside but what we look like on the inside because God sees our heart and we want that to be beautiful. And we talked about last time one way that we can do that is when we get angry we control ourselves we don't let our anger control us. We don't do mean things uh, or do anything that would hurt someone's feelings or hurt something that we have. We control our anger. So today I thought we'd talk about another way that we look different as Christians. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29, we read that we're not supposed to let anything bad come out of our mouths. We're supposed to only say kind things that build up and encourage people. Kind words that show love. Positive things that make people feel good. And I brought some things with me today because our words are kind of like some of these things. This is 
some body wash. Maybe you have some of that in your house, in your bathtub, uh, and you'll know that if you take your body wash, you can dump it out and use it. Maybe you wash your face or your body or your head. Maybe you got some shampoo and you wash your hair so nice. But if you dumped it all out and didn't use it, that'd be really wasteful, right? That wouldn't be any good. Now, if you got in the bathtub and you took your mom's body wash and you dumped it all out just like I'm doing now, what would she say? She would probably be pretty upset, wouldn't she? You dumped out all my body wash? She'd be upset because once it's dumped out, you can't use it anymore. You can't scoop it back up and put it back in. Our words are also kind of like toothpaste. Maybe you brush your teeth at night. I hope you brush your teeth at night. Let's hope that's not a maybe. But you brush your teeth at night and you put a little bit of toothpaste on your toothbrush, right? You put a little bit of toothpaste on your toothbrush and then you brush your teeth. But what if you went in your bathroom and you took your toothpaste and you just squeezed it all out? Your dad or your mom might come in and say, what are you doing? Why are you squeezing out all the toothpaste? Oh no! Now it's all gone. Now we'll have to go buy more because all the toothpaste is gone. Huh? You squirted out all the toothpaste. You squirted out all the body wash. You know, now that those things are squirted out, we can't put them back in. Some of your parents may even have lotion that they put on their hands, or maybe they have some lotion that they uh, like to keep in the bathroom for when their hands get dry and they put them on there. But what if you had taken your mom's lotion and instead of putting it on your hands and using it, you just did like the toothpaste and the bath wash and you just squirted it all out. Oh, gross, no. One of your parents might say, why did you squirt out all my lotion? Now my hands are dry and I can't have any lotion to put on them. Ah, so horrible. Once you squirt out all the lotion, or once you squirt out all the body wash, or once you squirt out all the toothpaste, you can not put those things in. No matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you try, you can't put it back in. It's always going to be out. Look at this mess that we made. Oh my, it is disgusting. It's all out. Once it's out, you can't put it back. That's a little bit of like what Ephesians chapter four is trying to tell us. Once we say mean things or unkind words or say something that hurts someone's feelings, we can't take that back. Yeah, we can ask for forgiveness and we can say we're sorry, but once those words are out, we can't take them back. So we really need to think about what we say before we say it. And that's one other way that we're different as Christians. We try to think about our words before we say them. Or like we said last time, when we get angry, we try to think about things before we say them. So I hope that you'll remember that and try to be a unicorn in a world full of hot dogs. Have a great day.